Hey guys, it's Dale from Elephant Memories. In today's video, we're going to do a resin inlay in a bamboo cutting board. You can hand carve these with some nice chisels or use a CNC machine, which can give nice depth. But for this project, I'm gonna be using my Epilogue Mini 50 watt laser. The laser is great for accuracy and incredible detail. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more project tips like this. You'll find the supply and material list in the description below. So let's get started, shall we? For this cutting board, we're using bamboo, but you can also use hardwood. I'm doing two deep passes, which will give me a depth of about 1 16th to 1 18th of an inch. Once your design is engraved, you'll want to clean the surface. I use denatured alcohol. It does a great job removing the residue. For hardwood, you might also want to do a quick sanding as well. Be sure to remove any dust or debris left by the rag. I just use a brush for this. I'm using tabletop epoxy for my cutting boards. This is VOC and BPA free. Once cured, it's safe for food contact. I used about 20 to 25 grams of resin mixed with black pigment powder. Pour this on the engraved area. Use a butane torch to pop bubbles and gently heat the resin. Now spread the resin over the entire engraving. Air bubbles are often given off on unsealed wood. You'll want to keep using the torch to pop these bubbles. You also want to really work the resin into the engraving. Occasionally use the torch for the next 30 minutes to keep popping the surface bubbles. Let dry for 24 to 48 hours. Don't worry too much about the surface bubbles. Many of these will be sanded out. However, if some remain, I'll put a link to another video which will show you how to remove these in the description below. I typically start with 80 grit sandpaper. Concentrate on the resin to get it close to the surface of the wood. Once you're close to that point, change to 120 to 150 grit. Once 
When the excess resin is removed, switch to 220 grit and be sure to sand with the wood grain. Now, clean the board with compressed air. If any bubbles remain, the air will remove any dust that's collected in them. This is important if you need to rework the area. If you are bubble free, you want to do a wet sand with 400 grit sandpaper. For hardwood, you want to do this two times. This will leave you with a buttery smooth surface. We're going for a matte like finish on our resin, so this is our last sanding. The last step is to hydrate and condition your cutting board. I prefer to use an all natural wood finish. First, cover all surfaces inside with an oil and let it soak into the wood or bamboo. Once that's dry, apply a wax conditioner. Rub it well in small circles. Then buff it with a clean rag. And that's it. Use the back of the board for cutting and serve on the front. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.